Okay, let's keep the party continuing here with more Gene Forge. You enter these narrow valleys. It looks like a river carved these gullies out long ago. The land is dead and there is a bitter stink in the air. A nearby obelisk has two symbols. The upper one means dead land. A failed experiment must have rendered this area inhospitable to life quite some time ago. The second symbol means tombs. Not ones to waste good land, the shapers must have used this area to inter their more valued dead. If you could enter some of the tombs, you might gain valuable information. Shapers inter their dead with knowledge, not loot. Okay, so this sounds like a great excuse to have like some sort of desert tomb area here. An unstable roamer. Well, pfft. I appear to be a bit overleveled for this region as well, so... In regards to just increasing my raw character strength, that's not happening here. Okay, well, we're not doing it for the XP, right? Whoa! Was my fireball so powerful? It dealt like this uh, area of effect- Oh no! They're unstable! So they detonate on their own. I thought, like, their, their flame thing was just, like, some sort of cool effect. No, they're fucking exploding. Ah. Like, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's neat. Yeah. It's a shame that they, uh... I'm just too high level for the region, though. It'd be nice if I could at least get something, but... I guess my character really isn't learning anything from the process, right? I triggered a box mine. Well, at least it couldn't kill me. Small miracles, right? <laughs> uh, looks like I'm gonna have to find some way to open up these tombs. Doesn't look like there's anything I can interact with to make that happen. And there's nothing that spell would work on. Okay. It's not a big deal. I am, uh, I'm sure I'll discover something. I mean, the fact that there was a box mine in there signifies to me that these things can be open in some fashion. You know, I can definitely see where having a, a ranged attack would be useful against these guys. Otherwise, you would, uh, you would chew through your health very quickly. This probably leads to, yep, Penthal Woods. Apparently we can navigate through here just fine now. The tombs can now be crossed freely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Oh, god damn it, no. Well, just run away. Misclicks and all that. Story of my life. Huh? What? Look, you you little shits are just being suicidal. Don't be suicidal. It's hazardous to your health. Hello! Any messages want to pop up for me? Tell me about how great I am? Oh, hey, look at you! Look at you! You're like a shade! Holy shit, you just kicked my ass. Ah, uh, hmm. You're not gonna open. Welp. So, let's do what we can. Oh good, now you open. Figures that it would take a turn. Alright, we can do this. I probably can't terrorize them if they're ghosts. Ah, oh, my body, all of my body. That did not heal enough. That did not heal enough. Game over, yeah. Ah. Uh, well, we'll go to this. You know. I thought I'd have an easier time of that, and, uh, <laughs> that was not the case. I get just a little bit fucking arrogant due to these, uh, creatures out here, and then all of a sudden, shit goes tits up. Stupid tits. 
Why do you keep going up? It's not how gravity works. Really? Come on. Come on. You can't hurt me. You're not shades. You're not even gray. You're dumb. Okay, so we learned a lot. We learned a lot. I'm gonna throw down a quick save for starters. Suppose we'll even make a big people save too. Because I hate to rely on quick saves. So, uh, we, we grew. Okay. With our newfound knowledge, we're gonna be a bit more, we're gonna be smarter about this. Or we're going to stay very, very far, far away. And you know, we're, we're, we're gonna try not to take so much damn damage. Looks like I'm gonna need two shots no matter what I hit these damn things with. See if I can lure you all the way out here. I sure can, and you can really... Can I terrorize you? Too close. Can I terrorize a shade? I could have if I didn't suck. Not enough spell it. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that, that consumed quite a bit. Okay. Well, at least they're worth experience, right, everyone? Right? Let's go ahead and use a healing pod. Since those are so disappointing, they're like little snacks. Okay. They have quite a bit of health. And, uh, they can move pretty damn far, too. They can truck it. They got the truck stick and everything. That'll make me fumble. This is where the bodies of the dead shapers were brought to be embalmed. You can still smell the stink of chemicals in the air. Dead shapers are generally embalmed with a combination of wax, formaldehyde, and the excretions of shaped fungi. Fungi. It is strange that the fenders were left here. The shapers may have wanted to leave their dead protected, or maybe they tried to hide something here so that it couldn't escape, and these things are guardians. There's an arm. A limb. The book lists all the, all the Shaper dead embalmed in these halls. The most valued Shapers were given private tombs in this valley. Others were taken elsewhere. None of the names are familiar. There's a note near the end. Korata has instructed for defenses to be placed into the tombs. Interlopers who try to study at the crypts must be deterred. So the Shapers are definitely very interested in limiting the amount of knowledge which can be gleaned from this island, which is why it has been barred. As such, I do wonder how the Shapers will receive us at the end of the game. Assuming we do actually make it off the island and return to the Shapers, after all, we've consumed so many of these strange skill canisters that, uh... I, uh... I don't think my, my, uh... My, my superiors are gonna be too fucking thrilled. Maybe I'll become so powerful that it won't matter, but, uh... There, there, there is some concern. There is some concern. Okay, no damage. That's nice. Alright, good. And I have great accuracy with the firebolt as opposed to, uh, you know, if I tried out that cool idea of trying to terrorize one of them. A dagger. Not worth my time. Okay, let's go ahead and head through this area. There doesn't appear, didn't appear to be any hostiles. We got living tools and regular tools. The garments in this cabinet disintegrated some years ago. The clothes crumble at your touch. Underneath the rubbish, you find a small iron amulet. It has several symbols on it, but you only recognize when it means caretaker. You take it. Perhaps because I now have this amulet, the, uh, the defenders of the tomb will uh, not pursue me. They'll sort of uh, hide me and uh, I'll come across as uh, someone who's approved. Or maybe I'll be allowed through those doors now. Melee weapons by one? That's, uh, that's not bad. Okay. 
That'd be ranked, uh, cleared this out. So, right. I can't, uh, pathfind through this, because the door closed. Let's test out the theory and see whether these, uh, these tombs whose doors previously did not seem to open for me will not do so. Maybe I just didn't stand there long enough. No, they open now. Uh-oh. Hi. 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 How's it going? How you doing? That was fun. I like the part where bad things happened. Thus advanced races place valuable physical objects with the bodies of their dead. Not the shapers. The memorials to great shapers contain no gold or other crude items. Instead of the base of the sarcophagus of any great shaper, you will find a book. It contains the knowledge accumulated by the shaper throughout its life. When one of your kind is wrestling with an unpleasant mental problem, it is customary to come to the tombs to learn, study, and meditate. You inspect the book. Strangely, the information there is not familiar and out of date, as is usually the case. You find that the book is actually very useful and interesting. And uh, I increased my healing craft by one. Hey! Ah, oh, nice. Think that was uh, worth our time? Healing craft, I suppose that's just outright, outright increasing heal. Although, it would have said heal, maybe. No, no, that's, that's the outright skill, healing craft. Nice. Which, you know, it's a category I'm weak in. If I could get anything that would teach me shaping, that'd be really fucking sweet. We can actually see some creations in action without uh, me uh, having to get off my skill points. Because I'm such a hoarder. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, JC and Bob! Brr. You know... You know, you are, you are really no-selling me, sir. But at least you missed, so uh, we're like even. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. I mean, it makes sense that I wouldn't exactly be able to scare these shades anyway, even though I am a shaper, right? They do know that in an alternate reality, they did crush my hopes and dreams. It's understandable. It's understandable. I get it. Alright, what do we got in here? I'm expecting, like, traps to be in these to kill me. Battle magic by one. Yeah, battle magic. That's the good stuff right there. See, if we, if, you know, we can get books that teach me battle magic, why can't we get books that teach me shaping, right? At the very least, I could throw down a meat shield. Although it would take some of my essence. Maybe I wouldn't die as often. That would be a novel concept. Grimith actually surviving. From this vantage point, you get a good view of the sea south of Susia Island. Far to the south, you can see the mainland. Close enough to be barely visible, so we're not that far away. Huh. To the southwest, you think you can see the mast of a ship. However, your view is blocked by a wall. If you walked west a little, you'd get a better view. Maybe we could leave right here. Just say, fuck this island. That would be interesting. We just end the game <laughs> in this session. Uh oh, I pressed F. I thought it was over. Look, you're nothing to me. Nothing. Right, I can change my position. The grid. That's great. I'm an army of one here. Alright, to the south you can see a ship. It is the same strange ship you saw a few days ago, just before it slew your craft and left you stranded on this horrible island. It will never threaten you again, it will also never sail anywhere again. The fire from your craft destroyed its sails and it ran aground on the reef. As you watch, it sinks slowly below the water, soon it will be gone. Damn it! <laughs> that solves one mystery. Unfortunately, it leaves, you, it leaves you no closer to escape, but you do get experience points from learning this. That's nice. The mainland is, uh, relatively close to this island, it seems. I imagine due to the fear of the Shapers, uh, 
Very few actually attempt to come this way. Although that has not apparently stopped these humans. Uh oh. Oops. There we go. I'm too high level to get experience for this. Well, we got some experience points from seeing that ship. This place is fairly rough. Alright, nothing of interest here on our sandy beach. I was looking for uh, more tombs. Might contain some value. Damn it! It's not even fair, game. Come on. Not even fair. Damn. Mental magic? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. These, these are things I care about, but these are also things which are cheap for me to increase. Uh-oh. Look, I know you're all awesome and excited and eager to kick my ass, but, uh... Your hopes and dreams did not occur. Don't you ping at me, computer. I didn't ask for your shit. Right. I keep trying to disarm these things as if, you know... I could accomplish anything I set my mind to in life. It's also gonna take me three hits to take you down, too. Like I said, three hits. There we go. Might as well use some of those healing pods, right? I do have a lot of them. Spellcraft? Okay. Yeah. Talking my language? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not even worth my time. You're gonna activate, and you're gonna spawn another one of these damn thoughts, so... Why don't you go ahead and do that? Get out of your system. Come on, don't be shy. Mean. Here. Can I disarm you now? Yay! You don't know enough about magic to be able to- What?! Really?! So it must be blessing magic then, you'd have to say. I don't know enough- I don't know enough about magic?! Ah! Well, well, let's test out this theory. My character doesn't know enough about magic? There we go. No, 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 that I, I was reading the, the messages wrong. Ha! Huh. My character doesn't know enough about magic. The fuck? <laughs> Maybe it's a mass restore book? I guess we'll have to come back here later, because we've already had something for battle magic. And mental magic and spellcraft, haven't we? Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll we'll have to think about that and come back later. See, my character doesn't know enough about magic to. Oh, for fuck's sake, difficulty 10? Now you're just fucking pissing me off, game. Alright, this is gonna work this time. Oh. Right. Let's go ahead and walk away. Uh. This one's completely empty, except for trash. I was not expecting my character to not know enough about magic. As noted by my repeated surprise. Hm. Oh well. Neater, neater. I got coins from your, your shadowy incorporeal body. It's interesting, but not enough to help you. Okay. So, that just was uh, a room worth of 20 experience points. Brrr.
You should die now. That is not dying. We have a slight concern. Concerned over. Everything's okay. There we go. Oops. Blessing magic. Okay. So, we've had all these be taught to me. Hmm. Huh. Is it magic shaping? Well, no, they don't want to say something about shaping, right? Huh. I am befuddled. Well. I uh, don't know whether I'll remember enough. I tell you what, folks. I am actually so interested that I will uh, I will resend the the spumbler thing here J just for that book. Because uh, that is uh, most intriguing, and I I'm not sure it's something I would ever figure out. I I probably wouldn't come back to it. I would probably forget. Or, uh, I develop a lot of apathy. So, so for that book, in that book alone, if, if anyone knows, you, you, I, I will not, I will not, you know, salt the ground on which you stand, if, if I were told. Now, that, is, that does not mean 17 people need to tell me in the comments. You know, if you were watching this in, in the future, like a month from now, you, you, you probably don't need to reveal the mystery to me. It, it, it's probably been told to me in some form or fashion. But, uh... Yeah, just wanted to make that clear. Now that we understand each other... These things are really damn weak. I mean, they're unstable, but they don't have a whole lot of health on them at all. Let's stay in this area. Now, you don't have to tell me what I, uh... I did now, it might already be too late. <laughs> already paused the video long enough to tell me exactly why. What it is. You, you don't have to tell me what I need to do to qualify to get it. I, I just, like... You know. The book telling me I don't qualify enough and that magic threw me on a fucking curve. Like, what? The fuck? Uh, okay. I guess I stunned it so much that it didn't really have the action points to come after me. Interesting. Yes, yes. Get it out of your system. Now, you did have enough juice to come after me. You just couldn't... <sighs> These clicks, man. They will be the end of me. I don't know enough about magic to be able to learn from this one, either. Okay. Iron bless breastplate and an iron sword. Whew. Minus two to all attack skills. This gives minus one to all attack skills. It's not exactly like I've been attacking a whole lot. Yeah, it's not exactly like I've been attacking a whole lot, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I've been using magic skills, and this it doesn't appear to interfere with that. Now, it does weigh 2.5 pounds more. Whatever. And the Iron Sword here deals 5 to 35 damage, but I already have one of those. Yeah. I'm also carrying quite a bit of weight here, so we'll place down that chainmail vest for now. Actually, it appears as if I have, uh... No, I haven't. I haven't fully cleared this. Let's go back here. Like Eddie Money wanted to. Yes, yes. Brrr. No, my body. Finish you off. We're good to go now. Heal myself up. Interesting, but not enough to help me. This one goes on for a bit. And I don't know enough about magic to learn from this one, either. 
I was able to disarm that, though. That was nice. So, that's what? Three, uh, three books which have told me that I don't know enough about magic to uh, be able to learn from them. Definitely uh, intriguing, right? Some sort of interesting situation happening there. Where the hell's the exit? It's over here. Let's go ahead and go. Uh, I guess I could go back and pick up the chainmail vest and sell it, but really I have over 3,000 coins. Like, I, I don't think it's, it's an issue. <laughs> I really don't. Well, we got some, we got some useful, uh, things out of that. Some utility. That's not so bad. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, end the video here. We explored a, uh, a lovely map section there full of doom and gloom. And coming back next time, I guess I'll keep the session going. Who knows when I'll next return to Gene Forge.